Sopa 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 When we first visited the village of Nkangu Narok, we were greeted with so much singing and dancing. They invited us to join in. I felt so welcome, I came back a year later and we made this movie together. Wow! Is this a house that's just being built right now? Yes, of course, it's a new house uh, being constructed by the women. Oh, the women built the houses? Yes, of course, this is the work of the women. Like, uh, these are some of the straws, they use cow dung, they use uh, stronger woods from uh, acacia. And uh, this is an activity really played by the women. This is fantastic. Yes, of course. So how long does it take to build one of these houses? Uh, to build a house, Hello. it takes Hello. Uh, roughly three to four weeks. Oh. Because uh, and the only difficulty is the collection of the woods. Yeah. You know, it's uh, the woods are very much available, but uh, they're very heavy yeah. for them to transport from the bush to the village. Wow, yeah. I've seen women carrying mm -hmm. large bundles of of wood. Yes, sir. So that's for the houses. Yes, those are for, and sometimes they, that's how, how they also carry the firewood. Yeah, okay. Or maybe you saw them carrying the firewood, yeah. but uh, in other sense, that's how they also carry these ones. <laughs> Bahia, 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 Bahia,
So I can see why you want two people to do this. It needs at least two people. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, even sometimes one uh, one person can even make the fire or two. Because um, you can use your <laughs> stick to hold it. Yeah, you can. Daniel. Mm. I can smell it. Sit down. Wait the fire. <coughs> Trying to get a better view. It's amazing. Hmm? It's... Come here. So life is very easy here, you see. Yeah, you don't need a lighter or a matchbox. For you to survive, you just uh, use the natural things. Yeah. Yeah. It actually makes very much sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's yeah. crazy. You don't buy the donkey dung, you don't buy the yeah. zebra, elephant, you don't buy the woods. Yeah. Life can get very complicated and, and sometimes it's good to remember that it doesn't have to be uh -huh. so complicated. Sure. Yeah. Have you ever seen this before in America? Well Last actually time. a different I, I've in the television. Someone taught me how to make fires with this different system mm -hmm. with a uh, there's like a bow head of a bow yeah yeah uses a bow oh so one oh look at that oh yeah someone explains to you of uh, the bow yeah mm -hmm. stones also some stones um yeah. i hope you believe it We'll take you back to the dances. Yeah. Uh, the dances. First of all, I want to thank you. Yeah. For inviting me to take part in that. Yeah. I mean, was, you were very welcoming. Yes, of course. You know, you know, I felt like, wow, I can just be part of this. Of the part, community. I can be a Maasai. Yeah. Man. yeah. It was <laughs> yes, really. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. And. <laughs> yeah. So that was amazing music. So yeah, go ahead. Tell okay, us good. about that. Okay, so now uh, I would like to take you back to the, um, to the dancing. Uh, the normal thing that we normally do is dancing is for the welcoming. We welcome the people, uh, those who come to the village. We sing the different kinds of dances. And uh, for you, I think we sang, uh, we showed you three kinds of dances. Uh, women's uh, welcoming dances and warriors also welcoming dances. And these dances uh, really makes someone to be uh, social or to feel that he's uh, in a very uh, comfortable area whereby, uh, let's say, uh, uh, people are very social, they're very uh, kind, they want you to join with them yeah. and also, also to share the particular time you are with them. If you would like to visit the village of Nkang Minaro, you can call Benson Kalembu at country code 254-733 Nine two six nine zero four, or country code two five four seven two six eight six two zero eight zero, or you can email him at bensonkalembu at yahoo.com and they are located in Amboseli National Park, Kenya.